Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Divit and on this channel I talk about entrepreneurship, marketing and just how to make money online in general. So if these topics interest you then stick around, subscribe and let's get into today's video. Now the topic for today's video will be WordPress SEO. I'll be giving you 5 tips that you can apply into your WordPress website to make sure you're ranking highly for all of your keywords. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and talk about the first key tip, which is a very basic or very beginner friendly tip. And it involves making sure that your visibility, your permalinks and your URL structures are set properly. So to go ahead and apply this first key tip, we go to our left side over here to where it says settings. And then in our settings tab over here, we're going to go ahead and select this reading option over here. And then in this reading option over here, guys, we can see this option which says search engine visibility. You always want to make sure this option is deselected. If this option is selected, essentially we're discouraging search engines from indexing our website which essentially means that search engines like Google and Bing can't find your content in your website. Okay, so always make sure this is actually deselected. And then once you have that done, the next thing I want to talk about is this permalinks option over here. So go ahead and select that. In your permalinks option over here, you always want to make sure that your URL permalink structure is the post name option, this one right here, because it's the cleanest and most simple way to actually structure your post. So just make sure that this one is selected. This is the one that I use also. And once you have that selected, the next thing I want to talk about over here to wrap up our first tip is if you go to the general option over here, you want to make sure that your site's URL and the WordPress address, so these two options over here are the same. So for example, if this one for was www.divitmethod.com, even though it's the same domain, this can hurt your SEO ranking because Google essentially considers these two as two different websites. So you want to make sure that you select the same thing for both. So for me, for example, it's just this right here. And you want to make sure it's the same for you also. So with that in mind, guys, that's the first step in place. We talked about the visibility to make sure that you have it deselected. We talked about your permalink structure and we talked about how your URL and your site address should be the same. Now, the next key tip I want to talk about is plugins and how you should always have an SEO plugin installed and activated on your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and take a look at the different plugins we can install. So go to your plugins over here and go ahead and select this add new option on the left. Once you do that, you'll be directed to this page over here. And if you just go ahead and type in SEO right here, you can see the different plugins that come up. So we can see over here, we have Yoast SEO, we have this all-in-one SEO, and we have a whole bunch of these different options over here. And the one that I recommend that you install is Yoast because it's a very known brand in the WordPress community and it has a very high rating. Okay, so we can see over here, it has 27,000 five-star ratings. So that's really, really cool. And more importantly, it gets updated regularly. So we can see right now that at the time of me recording this video, it was last updated four days ago. Okay, so I would go ahead and install Yoast SEO plugin. That's the first thing I would do. And then at the end of this video, guys, in the fifth tip, I'll talk about how you can actually use this plugin. So go ahead and install this plugin. Once you do that, we can move over to the next key tip, which involves installing another plugin, but this time to do with speed. Now, when it comes to SEO, guys, SEO and speed work hand in hand. If you have a slow website, then you will have a bad SEO score because people have a bad experience on your website. So you always want to make sure that your WordPress website is fast and you do that by installing caching plugins. So if you go to the right here once again, and this time instead of typing in SEO, you can type in cache, for example. You can see all of the different plugins over here we can go ahead and install to speed up our WordPress website. Now, the one that I recommend that you use is this WP Fastest Cache. It's a totally free plugin and it's very, very easy to use. And once again, it's a very highly rated plugin. It has a five-star rating for more than 3,500 people and 1 million active installs. Okay, so go ahead and install this. And once you install it, go to your left over here to where it says WP Fastest Cache. Go ahead and select that right there. And then over here, guys, you can go ahead and pause the video and just go ahead and copy these settings over here. Now, once you have these settings copied, we can move over to the fourth key tip, which is to install an SEO optimized WordPress theme. Now, guys, we all know when it comes to WordPress, your theme is the backbone to your website. If you have a bad theme or slow loading theme, this will greatly affect your SEO score. So it's always important that you pick a good, lightweight, fast and SEO optimized theme. If we take a look at this blog over here by WP Beginner, which is a very reputable site, over here they talk about the 22 best WordPress themes for SEO expert. And over here we can scroll down right here to a theme which is called Astra. Now this theme right here is a theme that I personally use and recommend. It's a theme that I think is extremely amazing when it comes to speed and just search engine optimization in general. So this is the one that I would recommend. And furthermore, we go ahead and click this option over here, which is another blog, but this time by HubSpot, which is another very popular CRM and just a very good company in general. And over here also, we see that they talk about Astra as being another very good theme that people should install. It's a free theme that you can go ahead and download. And you can do that by going to the appearance option over here, going to your themes option right here. And we can see I have it installed, but you can just go ahead and press add new over here and then search for the theme. Now, it's important to note, guys, that they actually even have a premium version and you can go ahead and purchase it in the future if you want, if you really want to upgrade your experience further. Now, with that in mind, let's go ahead and talk about the last key SEO tip, which is how we can go ahead and optimize our pages and blogs using the Yoast SEO plugin. 
to use best practices for our headlines, images, descriptions, and body in general. I'm going to go to a post right here that I created, which I'm going to go ahead and use as a test example. So we can see right here that I created this post called Memento Mori, How to Overcome the Fear of Death. It's a bit morbid, but I'm pretty into philosophy, so just ignore the title for now. And then if you go ahead and press the edit option over here on my screen, I'll show you how I went ahead and optimized this particular post. So for this post over here, if I scroll down right here, we can see this is the Yoast SEO plugin that's being worked on right here. And the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to actually optimizing any page or post on your website is you always want to focus keyword, which essentially means the keyword that you want to rank for. Okay, so you always want to have a good idea. What's the keyword for this particular page that I want to rank for and then put it over here into a Yoast SEO plugin. So once you have a focus keyword in place, the next thing you want to talk about over here is your title, slug, and description. Now, when it comes to your title, you always want to make sure your focus keyword is in your SEO title. So we can see right here that I have the word Memento Mori right in the front of my SEO title. So Google knows this is what the blog is about. Okay, so that's the first thing over here. Now, when it comes to your slug over here, this essentially means how do you want to title your URL? So we can see over here for my URL, I went ahead and said divametha.com slash memento mori. And by doing this, I'm essentially putting in my focus keyword in my URL also, which can help with rankings. Finally, when it comes to your meta description, you want to make sure that your focus keyword again is in your meta description. And we can see right here that I have it available to me over here. So those are some things right off the bat that you want to go ahead and put in over here in terms of your title, slug and description for every page, for every post that you create. Now, once you have that in place, the next thing I want to talk about over here is if you scroll to the top, you want to make sure that the pages and the blogs you create have at least 300 words on them, okay? Because if you have below than 300 words on a page or a blog, it's considered thin content, which essentially means that Google doesn't have enough information to really understand or decipher what this blog or page is about. So this particular blog that I created, guys, has about 400 to 500 words, and that's good enough, right? That gives a good understanding of what this blog is about. And in this blog, I have the word Memento Mori a couple times. So we can see over here, I have it right here. I have it over here. So you always want to make sure you sprinkle in Memento Mori into your actual blog. Finally, in terms of actually titling the blog, once again, over here, I have the title with my keyword in there so that Google knows that this is exactly what the blog is about. And you can do the same thing for pages too. That being said, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Those are five tips you can go ahead and apply into your WordPress website. If you apply these tips and use this on a long-term basis, I guarantee that your SEO score will improve in the future. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it and share it with your friends. It would greatly help me out. And as always, if you're interested in more content like this and consider subscribing to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.